Hey, it's Amy with Serotonin Jacks, and I want to talk about something that is so simple that I do all the time, and you guys are going to be like, what? I want to talk about studs. Oh, I mean spuds. I don't have spuds. So today we have the potato. I can bake a potato with two minutes of energy. And you're gonna be like, oh, I like microwave potatoes. I'm not talking about microwaves, I'm talking about our Saratoga Jacks thermal cooker. And the really cool part is, I can keep it hot and ready for up to eight hours. The one cool thing about thermal cooking is, I'm doing this at one o'clock in the afternoon. I know you guys have kids like mine that come home from school and husbands from work and the dog's barking and the kids are crying and the last thing you wanna do when you're tired at five or six o'clock is try to figure out what the heck to make for dinner. So I try to do, spend two to six minutes in my afternoon to get this done then so that later on, no matter what, it's already done. Love, love cooking when my brain is on and when the kids are gone or the baby's napping. Um, and once it's done, it's done and then I can function. The Idaho potato, two minute boil, that's it. And you're gonna be like, Amy, I wanna bake potato, I wanna boil potato. I know, but we're gonna make a baked potato we're just boiling the water to create a water oven. And then once that water is removed, the potatoes are gonna be so hot, they're gonna to continue to cook themselves until their skins are dry. It's pretty cool. Two minutes of energy when I am have energy means eight hours from now, if we're at a soccer game or we're all together as a family, the dinner's done, we're gonna have loaded baked potatoes with salad and it's gonna be delicious. And I didn't have to do it when I was tired and stressed out. All right, let's get started. It is really as simple as pulling out your cooking pot and we're gonna load it up. Now I have a big family, but I have a couple little kids, so I always put the smaller potatoes in there too for them. I'm gonna load it with as many potatoes as I can for my family. We have a family of seven children so i've got to get enough in here for the whole shebang big pot of potatoes next part is super simple add water okay so this is the hardest part really is waiting for the water to boil because once it starts you only want to let it boil for two minutes no more you don't want these potatoes to be mushy. You don't want the skin to be mushy. You want two minutes, just enough to get that water to oven temperature, basically. We're gonna slow cook these potatoes and it's gonna work and you're gonna be like, what? So two minutes, that's it. No more than two minutes. Okay, it just started to boil. So I'm gonna set that timer for two minutes exactly. All right, now that it's been boiling for just two minutes, I'm gonna transfer that boiling water, use the oven mitt, you don't wanna get burned, be safe, and shut it in. And it's gonna now be, and I turn off my fuel, so I'm not wasting any more energy. And now my life is unplugged. This will continue to slow cook. Um, the potatoes will technically be done in about an hour and a half to two hours, but this will hold it for up to eight hours. Now you're like, Amy, it's still wet in there. I know, all you gotta do is dump off the water, drain it, which I can do that, uh, and, uh, you can just put it right back in there after you drain it for about another 15, 20 minutes before you serve it. And that last 15 to 20 minutes, the heat of the hot cooked potato will actually dry out the outside of the skins. So the next time you open it after that, it's done. It's done. It's done. It's a beautiful baked potato. So we'll show you that too. Okay, so it's been cooking unplugged in the thermal cooker for a couple hours. Potatoes are done. I could leave them in here for up to eight hours and it would continue to hold them without overcooking them. That's the awesome thing about thermal cooking. But we're going to go ahead and open it now because dinner's in, in 20 minutes and I want to uh, get this water out of here so they can finish drying up their skin so they, they're more like a baked potato. Okay, I'm going to pick up this uh, very hot uh, pot and I'm going, as you can see, there's, oop, there's steam coming off it. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to drain this. Okay, we're going to drain this water off like this. Okay, and our potatoes are in there, and now we want them to dry themselves out. So I'm going to just put them right back in. They're hot and cooked, and they're going to continue to dry themselves out, and we're going to show you what a potato looks like in 20 minutes, right before we serve it. Mm -hmm. 